I don't think it's safe, especially for a white person. Those were the words that the guy at the check-in counter said. Okay. Ah, how did you come in I love you so much. I'll okay. text you later. Let me snap you again, Gary. Gary? I love you so much. He's my best friend. Have a look at this market. Just on the train tracks. So they know the schedule of the trains and they move when they the train comes. Move, yeah. Okay. <laughs> what happens when the train comes? I said we have arranged ourselves already. When yeah. the when train is coming, we, 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 we know our set So it goes behind you? Yes. Okay, is that not scary? Government corruption has a problem. So basically being surrounded by guys saying dollar to me. It is rich in resources, it's got Africa's biggest population and it's enjoyed democracy since 1999. But kidnappers are demanding money. If you pay ransoms, kidnapping continues. Over 100 students kidnapped from a school in Nigeria's Kaduna state. Armed groups have killed more than 36,000 people in the past 10 years. The only way to end kidnapping is for society to take a stand that we will not pay. Burdened by inflation, economic stagnation. Despite being Africa's largest economy, it does have high unemployment at more than 33%. Credible and disturbing evidence that Nigerian security forces shot and killed at least 12 people, taking part in peaceful protests last night in the country's largest city, Lagos. A city in chaos. Buildings have been torched. Mass kidnappings, attacks by armed groups and criminal gangs, corruption and a lack of jobs. So where does Nigeria go from here? Nigeria. Many people would think of scammers, kidnapping and violence when they hear the name Nigeria. But how frequent are such events? Shall we go, put our feet in the dirt and see what it's like for ourselves? I think so. Africa's most populous country. Known for kidnapping, for ransom. What's the price? A city in chaos. Yes, I'm watching. Don't have words. Okay. Demoralize it. Dear children, we hope that you had a pleasant flight. For your safety, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until the seatbelt sign has been turned off. Welcome to Lagos, Nigeria. Biggest city in Africa. 24, 25 million people. Pretty chaotic. We're gonna go explore. This city is very interesting. Arguably the biggest English-speaking city in the entire world. You can walk around and you can talk to pretty much anybody in English. We're gonna go right into the downtown area. We're gonna meet some people, find out what makes this mad city largest city in Africa tick. Invigorating to be here, that's for sure. When I was checking in for the flight in Europe to fly to Nigeria, guy at the check-in counter of the airline said to me, why are you going to Nigeria? I said, business. I had to come on a business visa. It's very hard to get a tourist visa. As a business visa, I was able to come as a tourism consultant. Anyway, that's a whole nother story. But he said, I always like to know why people going to Nigeria because I don't think it's safe, especially for a white person. Those were the words that the guy at the check-in counter said. So obviously there's this uh, perception of Nigeria being somewhat dangerous. So far I feel okay, but let's go and uh, explore more of the city and see what the locals have to say about that. Uh, I've just been taken into a security office and questioned, but they let me go ultimately. Didn't have to pay anything or anything like that. So let's go explore this chaotic city. <laughs> it's amazing to be here, really. Come to this huge market area. We just drove through traffic for an hour or so. But this place is hectic. This huge market on the train tracks here. 
We drove past a huge slum. You would have seen some clips there, and it's a floating slum. We're going to go there while we're here in Nigeria. But today, we're in the market. It's okay. Ah, how did you know what land you? What what is this? This catfish. 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 Quite thank you. They're alive. Yeah, like one. What's the price? The price of this one is one thousand, one two, one five, one eight last. And, and is that because these are smaller and these are bigger? Yeah. yeah. Oh. And these come from the bay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, How many have you sold today altogether? Ah, inshallah, we try to like can sell like hundred pieces okay, okay, okay. in a day. How many? I'm 100 pieces or 80 pieces in a day. 80 fish? Yeah. Wow, good business. I love you so much. She loves you so much. <laughs> My best friend. Love you too. He loves you too. Thank you. Uh, Can I have your share? Of course. Nice to meet you. What's, what's your name? My name is Peju. Peju? Peju. I'm Nick. Nice to meet you. Take care. Bye. Bye bye. My best friend. Bye. I'm coming in. I'm coming in. Right. Come, let me have your contact. Let me snap with you face. Okay. <laughs> Put your WhatsApp number on it. Okay. Add that on WhatsApp. That's my number. Wait, let me add it on WhatsApp direct. Okay. Because I don't want you to give me fake number. I would never do that. I there. Okay. I'll text you later. Let me snap you again, Gary. Gary? I love him so much. He's my best friend. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, we talk Nice to see you. Bye. Bye. Have a look at this market. Just on the train tracks. Absolutely crazy. This is central Lagos. Where we come from, where we're staying, is an island. That's where a bit more of the uh, money is. This is the epicenter of a city with 24 million people. And it shows. So here we are with Mohammed. Hello. Mohammed contacted me and uh, invited me to Nigeria a few yeah. years ago. We've been working on it and we finally made and it. Finally, and you are here. You're welcome to Nigeria. This is Nigeria. Welcome to Nigeria. <laughs> and so this is like the bang in the center of Lagos, uh, the biggest city in Africa. Yeah, actually the biggest city in Africa. Is this area safe? Yeah, it's safe actually, but you have to be very careful with your belongings. Pickpockets? Yeah, pickpockets. Okay. So you have to be very careful with your belongings. You hold it tight, but it's safe actually. So what I've noticed, I've asked a few people and many people telling me that Lagos is safe generally. You just got to watch out for pickpocketers, but in yeah. terms of like a threatening, violent kind of situation, it doesn't happen in, really? Yeah. No, actually nothing. Lag Lagos is safe. That's interesting, right? Because many people might perceive that the biggest city in Africa would be dangerous, yeah. right? Yeah, because of the population, right? Uh-huh. But actually Lagos is safe. Uh, the people are good. And there are definitely there will be bad ones, but um, the perception that Nigeria is bad or Lagos because of the population is very large, to over 20 million people, then there will be like bad people. Yeah, there will be bad people, but generally we can say that Lagos is safe, it's good. So Mohammed, we're on the train tracks right yeah, now, right? We're on the so the train's not come here? It passes here sometimes, but I think, I'm not very sure, but I think it passes to Abia Kucha or Ibadan. Okay, yeah. so they know the schedule of the trains and they move they when the train move, comes. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> that's crazy. That must be a crazy time, yeah. What is this on the left here? Oh, this is uh, Pomo. Pomo is the skin of the, of the cow. Okay. So it's been peeled from the cow after the cow is been slaughtered. Two two fifty. Two fifty hundred. Okay. We can try it raw like this, but okay. mostly it has to be made in a soup. Okay. When it's made in a soup, it's delicious. Very delicious, but you can even try it this way. Okay, you see this? Okay. Yeah. Is it raw? It's raw but it's already burnt, you know? Okay. So so it's, it's smoked? Good. It's smoked already, yeah. Uh -huh. So you can feel the smoky taste and also when you uh, prepare it in the soup, it will be more delicious. But you can eat it like this if you like. Uh -huh. <laughs> what happens when the train comes? Uh, 
train trains come, we have arranged ourselves that train will not reach us. Sorry? I said we have arranged ourselves already. When the train train is coming, it will not affect us. Okay, you move. Yeah, they have already arranged themselves. So when the train comes, it will not affect them. It will just pass through. Oh, so it goes behind you? Yes. Okay, is that not scary? No. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Bye, 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 bye. So that was uh, 100 naira. Yeah, and so that's nera. about uh, 30 about cents? Two. 100 naira, yeah, about 20 cents. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, about 20 cents. Is that yeah. a good price? A very good one. Yeah? Yeah. yeah but there's good. problems with inflation in Nigeria, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think before this hundred naira would maybe cost you like fifty naira. Okay. Before, before mm. one year ago, this will cost you like hundred naira, sorry, fifty naira. So but everything now, in the last year has basically doubled for the local double. people. Exactly. If you're any like two hundred naira, two hundred thousand naira, because of the inflation, what you are going to buy for one hundred thousand naira, now you will have to buy it for the whole income that you have. Okay. So you will not have anything to save. All right. So a year ago, maybe people could save money, but now they you can't. You cannot save. All yeah, the you money just goes have to. to go and survive. So you see these yellow buses everywhere, all over the city. And there's just guys hanging out, calling people on with handfuls of money. Now we have to cross this road. Hey. So I'm basically being surrounded by guys saying dollar to me. Hey. So Mohammed, so there's a system here called POS, right? And we're doing it now. Can you just roughly explain uh, briefly what, how it works? Oh, yeah, it's an acronym. P is for point, O is for off, and S is for sales. So point of sales. Uh -huh. So when you are like not very close to a bank, you don't have accessibility to a bank, but you have an ATM card, or you can make online transaction or mobile transaction. So you can go to the POS uh, center and you send the money to the POS agent and he give you the cash so they will charge you some amount maybe 200 naira depending on the depending on the amount that Which you will like draw 50 cents or so yeah like 50 cents okay. yeah, yeah yeah and so it's just these young guys here that walk around with these machines and they give you money yeah, now we are going to. I have to. I'm going to transfer five thousand naira to him, uh -huh. and he will give me the cash. Okay. Five thousand naira, but he's going to charge me. How much are you going to charge me? Two hundred. So he's going to charge me two hundred. Right. For five. But it's one hundred, not two hundred. It is ten thousand. That is two hundred. So it's basically like a mobile bank that you can transfer by a mobile app, and then they give you the cash. But they have little like uh, credit card machines as well. What's your name, sir? David. David. I'm Nick. Nice to meet you. So, how's life here? Fine. You like it? Yes. Yeah, yeah. And so you're doing the POS. Yes. And what do you do for fun? Yeah. For fun, what do you do? Football. Football. Yes. You want to be a professional player? Yeah. Uh -huh. Doctor. 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 Yeah. Okay, nice. And are you going to university? Yes. Oh wow! Congratulations. Is it is it safe in Nigeria? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Have a good day. All right, bye-bye. We just came into a building here uh, and walked right through the other side. And just on the other side, more and more markets. It's just absolutely packed, densely populated market here. Very nice people though, I mean lots of people screaming sometimes asking for dollars but generally like people great, are, are very friendly and things like David we just met there, the, the POS guy and uh, yeah, it's super, super invigorating. Are you buying a shirt Mohammed? Yeah, I'm trying to buy the, the, this plain shirt. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think it's good, they're telling me 1,000, 1,000 what you said? How many? Hey. He said like 1,600 around uh, $3. $3, yeah. yeah. But I think it's too expensive. It will be like $1. Okay. Maybe uh, $1 or $1.50. Okay. And are these made in Nigeria? I believe it's made in Nigeria. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that was India, it says, eh? Yeah. Okay, sorry. Made in India. No, India, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's made in Nigeria. Is this made in Nigeria or India? 
did in Nigeria. In India. No? In India. In India. Yeah. Yeah. You know Nigeria. In India. <laughs> So how much this? Just give me two thousand. Huh? Ah. You said one thousand. I thought you are buying me now. I know. I'm sorry. So you managed to bargain them down? Yeah, I bargained to get it one thousand three hundred, which is like around okay, less than three dollars. Three, not really three dollar, like yeah. two point five. Right. Yeah. And it comes from India. Not really, no? I doubt. I think they made it here. Okay. Yeah. So it's good to pretend something's from India here? They always pretend that they, uh, 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 most of our product made in Nigeria, they tend to make it like made in India or make in China okay. or just to make it superior. But it's not superior, it's made in Nigeria. So in Nigeria, if something is made in India or China, it's considered high quality? Yeah, because it's foreign. Anything that comes outside Nigeria, they believe that it's good. Okay. But that's not really true. True, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So Mohammed, yeah. what is it that people are shouting out at me? Yeah, they are calling Oibo. Oibo. Oibo means like a white man. Right. Yeah, any person that is white, they call him Oibo. We oh. call him Oibo. Uh -huh. So it's like a pigeon English. And is it like uh, endearing or is it like a derogatory kind of thing? No, it's not derogatory actually. Uh -huh. It's endearing. It's just okay. Right, right. Yeah, it's, it's like gringo okay. in South America? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And they, sometimes they make like a hiss like... They are trying to call your attention. Uh -huh. Yeah, like, hey man, hey Oibo. Yeah, so, Oibo. Yeah, so like, hey white man. Two five. Two five. Uh, well, Mohammed was just telling me that uh, the price of, you know, meat and foods, like you were saying before, but he was saying, hello. Very nice. Apparently, meat used to cost 800 a kilo, and now it's 2,500, according to that guy. So, hey, how are you? Good. Yeah, people are nice and it's so cool being able to uh, like speak directly to people as uh, English being the language here. So Mohammed, this is like a drug? It's not really a drug, um, it has but high nicotine. Okay. Uh, high nicotine, I think Nicotine, so. nicotine yeah. Uh -huh. um, according to research, it is the nicotine in, uh, in cola nut is higher than in cigarette. Okay, yeah. a lot of people chew this. A lot of people, especially in the northern part of Nigeria, they chew a lot of things. You have to buy. You have to buy. We are buying. How much? Buying, What's the price? Because it's very important. That's why we are buying. It's an African culture. Yeah, exactly. So that's what I'm buying. That's what I'm buying. How much? Exactly. <laughs> 50 naira. 50 naira for one? So we are buying it. 50 naira for one. All right. For one. It's okay. okay. It's nice talking to you. You too. Yes. Thank you very much. So 50 naira. Where are you celebrating from? Uh, Where are you I'm from, from? I'm from New Zealand. New Zealand? Yeah. You, you know it? I know New Zealand here. Yeah. yeah, okay. I studied history in school, so right. I know New Zealand. Definitely. Definitely. All right, then. thanks okay, so much. Bye. Okay, Mohammed, so we've come to this really interesting place here. We've got a central mosque here, yeah. and right across the road we have a. We have a Methodist church. Right, yeah. And so Which shows the unity. Yeah, we have both Muslims and Christians stay uh, living in Nigeria in unity. This is to show you there is a unity in diversity in Nigeria. Okay, so yeah. people of different religions all get different on and religion, everything. Yeah, they are okay with each other, staying together, living together, eating together, playing together, whatever. If you are not a Muslim in Nigeria, then you are a Christian. They are the two major religions. There may be others, traditional religions, but they are not really practiced. You can't really see them. So this is shawarma. Cabbage. No tomato. You have, to, you have ketchup. Oh, okay. Okay. Sauce, ketchup, and what is this? Chicken. It's shredded. Sausage. Uh, sausage. 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 Is it uh, pork? No, chicken. Chicken sausage. So they make like around eighty dollar per day. Okay. Which is a good one. Right. In comparison, in comparison to Nigerian situation. Your name? Emmanuel. Huh? Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Nick. Nice to meet you. He's a foreigner like you. We're the same, yeah. Okay. Nice one. <laughs> you traveled here from Ghana. Yeah. Uh, and why? Lagos. Be Lagos is better. Better life yeah. here? Yeah. More opportunity? Yeah. Yes. No opportunity in Ghana? Little. Little? Yeah. So you love it here? Yeah. Okay. And what do you do? Fashion designer. Sorry? Fashion designer. Fashion designer. Yeah. Oh, wow. Nice work. You look like a model. Yeah. Good looking man. 
Uh, it is good. Yeah, yeah. It has sausage. I've seen the sausage. Ah, the whole sausage. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. You want to eat? I'm going to eat. Enjoy. Oh Thank you. Bye. 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 It's so crowded that everybody's had to climb over this construction site. There's too many buses on the road. It's wow. Absolute mayhem. Thank you. So we've met a lovely lady called Ejuma selling SIM cards and, and uh, devices. And modem, router, MiFi for your model. How is life living in the biggest city in Africa? Yeah, there's Lagos. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. We is like it, life. Is it crazy here? No, not really crazy. Not no, crazy. No, 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 it's not crazy. It's sweet, very sweet. Sweet? Come to Lagos, you have fun, you have money, you have life, you okay. club, you party. Lagos is the best place you can stay in Africa. Okay. You are safe. Am I safe here? Yeah, you're very safe. Yeah? Nobody can touch you, nobody can kill you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we are safe. No killing in Lagos. No killing. No, 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 no. Can I tell you what the person told me when I was flying here? I was flying from Europe and the man giving me my ticket, boarding pass, mm -hmm. he said, why are you going to Nigeria? And I said, oh, for business. And he told me, it's very dangerous, especially for white people. <laughs> so what would you say to that? No, 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 that's not true. We have a lot of white people working here. We have Americans that works. Some people are in the club, some people work in the club, some people have club, white people have club, have restaurants in Lagos. You obviously love your country, right? Yes, I love my country, yes. And so those are the positives and what are the negatives about living here? Um, what don't, don't you like? No, we don't like our government. Okay. That's the only thing we don't, I don't like. Our Why? government. Why? Because they're not truthful. They take our money, eat it. Other people will not see to eat. No. We work hard. You give us our money. We are citizens of Africa. You have to pay us our money, but they don't do that. That's the only thing we don't like, our government. Basically, you're telling me everything's great, but government corruption is the problem. Yeah, that's the problem. Government corruption, that's the problem. Okay. But everything is okay. No killing. No, no, no. Killing. And what about other parts of the, of the country? Because maybe Lagos safe and other parts maybe no, some dangerous? the only part that is not safe is in the northern part. Northern? And northern part. Not all northern parts. And it's what like happens the, there? The Boko Haram. Okay. Terrorism. Terrorism, yeah. Kidnappings. Kidnappings in that area. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Cool, Thank cool. You. Thank you. Okay, so we've just left the market now and uh, we've jumped in a, a, a bolt, which is like Uber. And we're heading to Banana Island, which is. Uh, you're eating bananas right now, right? Oh, yeah. Plantain. Plantain. Banana Island is like the more wealthy side. Okay, so we, we tried to get into Banana Island, but yeah, uh, we got denied. We got denied. Very rich right. people, celebrities in Nigeria, and also like the rich politicians residing there. So we so got the denied. Who's who were there? Right? Yeah, who is who exactly? Yeah. So like cream de la cream. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, so we got denied, unfortunately. And they saw my camera and they really didn't yeah, like that. Yeah, they right? don't like the camera. Yeah. They so checked my got, footage and yeah. stuff, and then they said, yeah. get out of here. But it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But we did go to another neighborhood and we got a, a small taste of some more expensive oh, uh, yeah. hard market houses, right? Oh, so yeah. You can see the clips here. What the audience might not know is that you're not from Lagos, right? You're yeah, from I'm not from Bauchi, Lagos. Which I'm is from Bauchi, Bauchi, which is in the northeast part of Nigeria. Right. Like more than 1,000 kilometers. The culture, the landscape, the environment, the people, the nature, everything is different actually. What are the positives about Lagos, do you think? If you work hard, you can get something that you can opportunity. survive. Opportunity, yeah, a lot of opportunities compared to like other 
cities in Nigeria. And what's the negative? The negative is the population, chaotic really to move the town of the Lag city of Lagos, the traffic. Yeah. So I think that's the negative thing. But we just spent like an hour and a half or so. Yeah, an hour, an hour, an hour in the traffic. Uh, like a, a, a distance that would take you like 30 minutes, you spend like one hour, 30 minutes or two hours. That's the negative. Right. right. Yeah. <laughs> Is there a power cut? Yeah. A power cut. Power cut? Yeah, power go. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is the building that we're staying in and the uh, nice young man here. We just had a power cut and he's just cranked up the generator. Beautiful sunset over there. In the next video, we're going to go to, I think it's the biggest slum in Nigeria, at least one of them, called Makako. And Makako is the floating slum there and we're going to go there got local contacts we're gonna go and see how the people live there it looks absolutely fascinating and then we're gonna try and go to the local beach very very strict security here I've been questioned a few times about the camera I think three times today and a lot of people don't like it but a lot of people love it so it's half and half you can see we met some absolute characters today really nice people this place that we're staying in this is kind of I would say middle more middle class kind of settlement there's security here all, all around the perimeter security lights and things must say that I feel quite safe in Lagos so far I haven't really felt in danger or threatened we're gonna go to other parts of the country later in the trip so far I haven't felt intimidated I've felt welcomed people are very very kind to me so we'll see you in the next video and in case I don't see you good afternoon good evening and good night 200,000 naira for your um, um, for the purchases uh, I'm not so good. <laughs> no. A lot of people are like looking at me, so I'm not <laughs> I hope you will cut it. <laughs>